Hello everybody, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Today we're going to be going on to the Elizabeth Dane. But before we go, I figured I should probably go and check my email because I haven't looked at that crap in a very long time. And you know what, I don't want to miss any text or lore or what have you, so I'm going to go try and do that. And then we'll be going to the Elizabeth Dane right afterwards. I think this is the way to the pawn shops. Yes it is, so our apartment's like right up there. So I'm a little bit nervous. You already know why I'm nervous. I'm not a stealthy man. I'm not a subtle man either. I'm the I'm the hammer of the toolbox. I'm the guy that, you know, you want a bunch of people dead, you send me. You want someone to sneak past them, you got the wrong damn guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's the I'm the guy he sent, so I guess we're gonna do that. Hey, I got some emails. Oh, I thought, okay, well, let's see. Are these all, I guess these are okay, well, it's one. Pretty sure that, uh, alright. Uh-huh, well, welcome to town, come, uh, Mercurio. I thought that was six new, not, okay. Find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. Pretty sure I already did. So this was kind of a waste of time. Should have actually saw that zero were unread. I just saw six, because I'm, uh, yeah. Never mind. So this was pretty useless. But, uh, okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. That's all. So I wasted two minutes. <laughs> My bad. Hopefully this mission doesn't take all that long. It probably will, because I'm, what's probably going to happen is they're going to see me. I'm probably going to end up killing a bunch of cops. I don't want to do that, but that's probably what's going to happen. And then the crow is going to get pissy. Oh god, I forgot where I was already. And the crow is going to get pissy, and then I don't know what happens. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm going to try not to get caught, but I'm just saying I wouldn't be banking on me, you know, pulling a perfect stealth run, because that's not... I mean, maybe if this was like Metal Gear, because I'm pretty good at Metal Gear. Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. But this, no, I, I, I'm not very good at stealth in this. Thought I saw somebody behind me. I'm not very good at stealth in this game, as we've seen so far, so this should be funny. I'm not sure funny is the right word, but yeah. I'm gonna resave over my... Before the Dane, because technically we're still before the Dane, that's fine. I'm gonna try not to save scum, but I'm gonna tell you I may well do so if I really fudge this up. Just saying. Hey, how you doing, Mercurio? I didn't rat you out. Turned I a nice guy. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I'm Well, let's see what he's got. I might need some equipment for this little trip. What do you got? You got... Jack all. It doesn't really help me at all because you don't really have anything. Okay then. Anything I can do for you tonight? Uh, I thought you. Okay, well I guess I just gotta go. Literally walk up to the boat. I guess I just gotta go walk up to the boat. Huh? Yeah. Okay. But, um. Move. Damn you. I was gonna say, how do boats work? I don't know. What the hell am I even supposed to be doing here? Should probably figure that out before I go. Let's see. Need to reorient myself. We'll be taking, waiting for you to take on the ship. All right, we got that much. We're on the ship. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna examine the sarcophagus. Don't open it. I remember. Find out what the police have discovered. Take the cargo manifest and try not to go on a killing spree. So by under no circumstances am I ever ever open the thing. Okay, I can deal with that because that's probably some. It's probably like Cain himself in there. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, well here we go. Aren't I supposed to move some, like, corrupt cop or something? I thought. Oh god, well. I, um... Are you the- Yo! Pally, over here! Oh, for Christ's sakes. 
Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair, you know. Jeez. What kind of wood stain? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? You realize journalism diplomas are basically fuck all, right? Uh, we don't do, we need to do this fast. We need so you, if you don't want to get caught. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Okay. Hold up a sec. Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Right. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Right. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep. I'll probably forget it, but I got it for now. Okay, Gangway A's like literally right over there. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay, Quantico, let's go. Need to get in third person for this before I screw it up, and I am going to screw it up. Make no mistake on this. Okay, so let's do this. I'm supposed to be calling off some guy down here. Hines to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Hines to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Well, move, Anderson. Mr. Anderson, I need you to move. Mr. Okay, I was gonna say Mr. Anderson. Okay, now. I suppose we're supposed to go this way, so let's try not to get ourselves killed or seen or something, right? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go in here? There's three, there's two doors. I guess I'll go in the nearest one first. Open that damn door. Close it. Okay. I think he said something about going up the stairs. Good God. Um, we went right last time, so let's go left this time. Open the damn You son of a whore. <laughs> oh, sh hey, dirt, we found it. Ah. Uh. uh, put those on. I want those on. Okay, um, unlock the doors while we're at it. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to do any of the other things. What's on here? Oh, damn. <laughs> Apparently, I was, what, what did that do? Let's see. Uh, did that tell me what I did? Apparently, that doesn't tell me what I did. I assume that... Oh, that was the sarcophagus, wasn't it? Okay, no, yeah, no. Don't do me dirty like that now. Oh, God, where am I going? <laughs> Well, that looks like the way we're going backwards, so let's go this way. Hey, the records room. I think we need to go in here. Come on. Do math. Oh, psh. There we go. All right. Wait, is that it? You've successfully... <laughs> You've successfully completed your task. Report back to the prince. Aw, oh, sweet, dude. Move your ass, man. Move it. Move it. Let's try not to get caught on the friggin' run back. That would be a shame. This was really easy. I thought this was going to be much more difficult than it was. I say that now. Watch the, the, the guys on like the other end of this, of this door. Oh, they are the oxen free, whatever in the hell that means. I hear whistling. Well, there's that guy. Hopefully he's not going to narc me out if he sees me. Now, if I understand this correctly, and I'm pretty sure that I don't, all I got to do is get back on the boat and we're done. The prince better un better like this shit, because, okay, to be fair, that was not that difficult. But he better appreciate it. That's all I'm saying, man. Alright, you're still here for some reason. You should probably leave. 
besides, I got your girl out. Shouldn't you be like, I don't know, be with her or something? Or, I guess I'm just <laughs> a romantic, I guess. I can't believe that went as well as it did. <laughs> If I'd picked the wrong door, that would have went so badly, I have a feeling. And the only reason I picked the right door is, like, if I have... You know how people in games are like, well, I don't know where to go in this labyrinth, so you usually have a... Way, like, most people either go left, always, or they always go right. I always go right first. So I'm very happy for my own... Is that, is that called, uh... Bias? Excuse me, I don't think it is. But... Hey, I'm not mad at that. I'm actually really happy. I'm ecstatic that happened. The way it did. Now where's the damn taxi? The damn taxi. The damn taxi's over here. Alright, let's get in let's get going. Damn it. it why do I have I'll to go to the other side? Sure, why not? To go to the downtown. I don't think I have anything else to do. So yes. He'll be happy. LaCroix will be happy! Like, what the hell? Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please, don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Honey, I've had women who stare at me while I'm sleeping. I don't... You're not on... that. You're not that high up on the list. Uh, but let's see. That's hard to do these nights. Oh, uh, do I want to get her involved in my shit? I mean, she's a ghoul now. It's kind of my fault. I feel like I take responsibility for her, you know? I mean, if, if I just... Do ghouls need blood, or they die, or are they just, like, cool if you don't give them blood? Because if, if I just tell her to screw off and she needs blood, well, she's gonna die. Like my blood. I don't know how all this works. <laughs> so I guess I'll play nice, because, hey, I, you know, I want my own follower. Hell, why not? You look much better, I'm glad. Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I, I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. You want me to make you feel funny, dear? Because I can do that. Let's see. I got you this. I thought, uh, let's see. I... Whoa! You might see the guy on the left of her, on like her right shoulder, like over on the left of the screen. That was like weird. I feel like if she stays with me, something bad's gonna happen. Like, if I, as a writer, I'm going, if, if the main character does this, something really bad's gonna, like, the foot's, other foot's gonna come down, the other shoe. I only did that to save your life. Uh, you know what, I'll go, I'll, I'll see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Yeah, I'd love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I don't wanna be... Important to you. I feel like I'm mind controlling her. Like the blood is making her want to say this because I can't imagine somebody just willingly doing all this. But oh, what the hell? Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. That's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Okay, you're climbing the creepiness scale a little bit. You already know where I live, but okay. What did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. I'm just trying not to get yourself killed. Okay, sorry, I got distracted there. Let's go see LaCroix, because, you know, he's going to be happy, I bet. About us not committing mass murder on a bunch of cops. Which I might have gave the wrong impression. I don't like cops, but I, I, I support them. Okay, I don't like them, but I support them. You can do both. Can you let me up there? Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? That's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, uh, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. 
Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates you're here to protect him. See you, Chunk. Hey, you gotta you gotta kiss ass to the security guards. They're the ones that get you in. You know, you gotta be nice. You gotta play ball with these people. Otherwise, what are you gonna do? You can't get anywhere. Uh, I look a bit out of place, don't I? I've said all I need to for now. Who are? I know one of those people. Who are the rest of them? Look like two of them's generic, and the lady, I don't know. She might be important later. Uh, I was gonna say, am I gonna, am I gonna go here, or what? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? It had blood all over the floor. Handprints indicated it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in... The parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. <laughs> Do I really... Uh, this involves me somehow, doesn't it? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone... Or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know... Your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Now, about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Oh, God, I'm going to be trying to play hide-and-go-screw-yourself with a crazy Malkavian? Oh, this sounds like a fun day. I'll go... Hopefully, if I hit two, it's not going to just send me there. I have a feeling it will, but I'm going to say that. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby. In the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Haha! -ha. I didn't have to go right off? Haha! -ha. And I got an apartment! It's, I wonder if you get that apartment if you get it done, period, or if that's only if you do it, like, stealthy. I wonder. Oh, I'm gonna go check out my new digs. That's what I'm gonna go do. Oh god, where was the Skyline Apartment again? <laughs> oh boy, oh god. I think it was this... This is the way to the... the yeah, this last round. Okay, so it's not that way. Uh, I think it's by the lo the low press sign, isn't it? Like to the left. Wrong. I think it has to be the left because the only way down the other way is a short, like a, a dead end. Let's see. The prince wished you'd contact Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, whatever the hell a Primogen is. I'm assuming that's some kind of leader. You should try looking for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town. You successfully completed your task. Reported back to the prince. Sweet. Oh damn. Well, I can I can actually just up my strength now. <laughs> Do I want to though? Uh, yeah, let's let's finish that. Got all the strength I can get. Next will be melee, and then after that, I guess it'll be the, not the cancel button. You numb nuts. <laughs> Except that you thought I'd you thought I'd screw it up bigly, didn't you? No, 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 no. I I caught it. I caught what I did. Seriously though, where's the skyline apartments? Shit, if I know. <laughs> I think it's to the right, but I think I've been wrong. Holy friggin' hell. I am stupid as all hell. Yes, sir, because I totally just went backward in the same direction I was in. Uh, that's disgusting. Uh, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Well, that's that Regan's house. That's not that. 
That's someplace I can't get into. That's the club, uh, the, uh, that's not a club, that, what is that? Shit, I don't know. That's LaCroix. I must have been wrong, because... I don't know. Oh, damn it. I might have to cut back and... Oh, I think it's back this way. Because that's Club Confession there. I don't know what the hell this building is. I don't think it's anything. I just got vertigo again. Why is it when I go down this one street in particular, I get vertigo? There it is. Nocturne Theater. It's closed. Not very nocturnal then, now, is it? Let's go home to, uh, well, my new place. I wonder which one of these is mine. I guess we'll see. Did it, did he ever tell me where which one was mine? Um, I'm assuming number four. Okay, so I'm on four. Okay. I'm gonna check out my new app, my new place, man. I'm excited. Number four. Ha. Ah. Hurry up. This elevator's not. I don't. I don't like that. That motion. Any minute now. How the hell much further up can we go? We're at the fourth floor. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're home. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. <laughs> I didn't decorate it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. You should probably word that better. <laughs> If I was a lesser man, I would say something else. Let's see. There's something you should know before we go on. Uh, what would that be? What the hell do I have to tell her? Oh. Are you married? <laughs> Is that why you don't want me around? Uh. No. You survived because of my blood. Uh, you are a ghoul. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? Oh god, well, I'm, I guess this is one way to scare her off, isn't it? <laughs> I just want to be really blunt and truthful with her, I guess. I kind of screwed her life up, so I might as well just tell her. No. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. This just feels like a... really, really bad situation, but I'm just gonna make it worse and go full Harvey Weinstein. Um, yeah. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. God, I'm not voicing these ridiculous things. I'm hitting number one. What can I do to show my appreciation? Hmm. I don't really need money. I don't want to waste that. I don't know if, there, if you can only choose so many things for her to do or whatever. I don't really need blood, so I guess I'm interested in you. Me? I'm not so special, you know? I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... My parents died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. Oh, sorry. I was looking at my phone. Let's see. Uh, how sad. <laughs> About your appearance. Change it. Go get plastic surgery. I don't think that's what he means. Probably something along the lines of she'll change clothes. Hell, I, what, what do you look like? Change your appearance. That'd be fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I like it. Oh, God. Uh, well? Uh, yeah. Wonder what she'll look like. She'll go stereotypical goth, or I guess she's gonna go change right now? <laughs> Kinda creepy. Hey, did we get TV on this? Uh, nah. I saw something. I saw it. You can't take it away from me. Oh, there it is. A mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. I don't watch fake news. Okay, so anything in here? Hey, um, I, I could sell that. <laughs> I guess. 
Looting my own apartment. Well, what else are you gonna do, right? No phone calls. Anything in here? Hey, blood packs. Three of them. Me likey. I've been trying not to use my blood packs because for all I know, they're like limited. Anything in my room? Uh I mean I can't buy anymore. I pissed that one guy off, so <laughs> there's that. Anything in here? That's a really crappy painting. Then again, I guess I'm just not one for modern art, considering modern art is sometimes quite literally crap. And I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so we've kind of just like... Oh, what's the term? Stockholm Syndrome to girl? Uh, I mean, that's... I don't want to say that, but that's pretty much what we did to Heather there. Uh, we might have just kind of killed her in a way, but... I hope not. I sincerely hope there's a happy ending, but I doubt there will be in a game like this. But hey, I mean, she would have died in the ER without me, right? So... Hey, you know what? She's living on borrowed time, if that's the case, okay? At least she's still living. That's the thing. that's the way you gotta look at it. She's still living. So I need to go to- I have no idea where in the hell that would be. I'm gonna go to the cab before we go, and see if I can... Find where the hell this Malkavian thing is. I think I went the wrong direction. Can I get onto the street? No. <laughs> Just... Okay, well... That is the Empire... Ho uh, yeah, Empire Hotel. Don't need to go there right now. So, I need to find a way to the Malkavian thing that's either through the sewers, like the, uh, the haunted place, or in through the cab. I'm hoping through the cab, because that would be easier. I might as well talk to Larry while I'm here. That's not going to take too long, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's come up with something. Maybe he's got some new stock. I don't know. Inventory. My man, what is up? You got anything new, Larry? Not really. It's <laughs> hoping you did. Come on, man. You got to step your game up, man. You got you to get some new wares every now and then. I'm just saying, man. I don't need a silver ring. A girl looks like a girl who's a single day's ATM limit special. Oh, that's funny. Don't think there's anything else I really need. No. Okay. So need to go find. There's the cab. Taxi. Damn it! I was right the whole time. It was a taxi. Can you do go there from here? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. No. Damn it. Okay. So. We'll just leave it here, because next time we'll be going, um, yes, we're going to Grouts. I don't know if there's actually supposed to be an apostrophe there. I think that's possessive, so that will work. You're a crappy writer. You should you be quiet. <laughs> you don't even have proper grammar. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. So, farewell, everyone. Until then.